Hi, my name's Alyssa and today I'm going to teach you how to make an elephant shirt or an Ella shirt. And I just figured out how to make this online so I decided to show you guys. So what you'll need is a blue shirt, just a long sleeve, preferably a long sleeve. You can't really do it with a short sleeve. And a gray shirt for the elephant. And it really doesn't matter what color you use for the shirts but I chose to use those colors and I got them from Walmart for $5.99 each and then you'll need some white yarn some black yarn a pair of scissors pins needles and a black button for the eyes and then this white scratch shirt that I'm gonna use to cut out a little circle it really can just be any shirt that you don't want anymore and you're gonna throw away alright so let's get started First, I usually just freeball it and draw the elephant by eyeing a sketch. This is how it should look, and I have a few mess ups, but it's just a rough sketch. Then you're going to go ahead and cut out the elephant. Be sure to cut around the entire sleeve, past the seam. Now your elephant should look like this. Next, we're just going to cut off the sleeve of the blue sweater. Once you've got that sleeve cut off, we're going to just flip the sweater and elephant sleeve inside out so we can start sewing them together. Then you're just going to place your elephant inside the sweater and make sure, make sure your elephant is facing up like this. And now we're finally going to start sewing the sleeve on. I just went ahead and threaded about two feet of black yarn through my needle twice. Then I just tied a knot at the end of the string. Before you start, you should be sure that both of your sweater faces are facing each other. Then you're just going to sew together the seams. And I just poked the needle through and I sewed up and down and up and down and over and over. Right now, this is what you should have. Your sleeve should be sewed on, but you should have a loose elephant because we haven't stitched it on yet. To start sewing the elephant, I just threaded through about two feet of black yarn. Then I poked it up from the bottom to the top. You should always start from the bottom to the top. And I just stitched about a quarter inch away from the edge of the elephant. Then I just followed the edges going up and down over and over again. Once you're done stitching your elephant on, we're gonna go ahead and make the eyes. To make the white of the eye, I just fold in my scrappy white shirt and cut a semicircle out. When you unfold it, you should have somewhat of a circle. And if you're really anal about having a perfect circle, you can make adjustments after. To stitch on the eye, I just started about one foot of white yarn through my needle. Then I stitched around the edge of the circle, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And I used the same method, so I just went up and down and over and over again. Next, we're just going to stitch on the button, which is the pupil of the eye. Basically, I just poked the needle through all of the holes and secured it when I was finished with a knot. For the final step, we're just going to stitch on the accents of the elephant. I also forgot to mention, whenever you want to end a stitch, you're just going to tie a knot. You can do this by pulling your needle through the stitch before you pull it through. Alright, and this is how the finished product should look like. And as you can see, this is, oh, this is Katie Meyer, my model. And as you can see, there's still some little orange markers on there, but it's washable. So just wash right out once you throw it in the washer. And I wouldn't recommend putting it in the dryer because I don't know what would happen to the material. It might shrink and the elephant might look like a armadillo or something. And so you might not want to dry it. And just throw it in the washer, let it air dry. And um, this is how it looks like. If you have any questions, just ask me when you see me. And I just want to thank Walmart for supplying me with all the stuff always been there for me when I needed chips or anything so you know deuces there's more videos to come